All right, so <laughs> this could work really well or very poorly, but you guys are gonna see uh, if I set this up correctly. But long story short, we are back in the shoe cutting business. I'm gonna be cutting over my new On Cloud X4. I just reviewed these. I actually spilled coffee all over the upper in this model, so I'm gonna cut it. I don't feel too bad cutting this model because the upper is kind of already ruined, and if I buy another pair, I wanna get a fresh colorway anyways. But you guys will see what I mean. I have like the most bro setup right now to cut this. Give me one second, I'll show you. All right, so I don't think it gets much more <laughs> bro-ish when it comes to setting up an air saw to make this work. So I don't have a compressor or like a formal tool shed at the moment. So what I'll be doing is I'll be running my air saw off of my compressor for my truck. So we're gonna set that up, see if we can't get it to work. And then instead of using like formal clamps because I don't have a workbench, we're gonna use these two plates and pinch the shoe between it Basically, if I can get these plates to clamp down enough to just cut through this midsole, because I wanna see the speed board tech in this, I'm not so worried about the upper, so we should be plenty fine, but let's see if this actually works. Alrighty, let's, uh, let's see if we can't get this puppy to work. So the goal now is to basically clip her down as so. So we'll clamp it. And the goal is I'm gonna basically be on it like this. So boom, straight cut. And that way, if it does like, let's say go like this, I'll run to the plate so I won't actually cause any harm on myself. But let us see if we can't get this to go. All right, moment of truth, y'all. Oh no. Well, the compressor was a total fail. So basically the guy at Home Depot, when he was explaining, he was like, oh, there's a ball in that that closes and I think in better compressors there is, but because it's a cheaper Smitty built, it doesn't have it. So we're gonna be cutting this shoe the old fashioned way here. <laughs> no fancy studios here, man. Just straight up <laughs> pure grit and determination to cut shoes. This is actually working out really great. All right, now we just gotta make sure that we cut this relatively evenly because that's like gonna be the biggest challenge, I think. I'm gonna cut it at an angle so we can better see the overall alignment here of the shoe. Mom, bring it to play with power tools. Damn first piece of rubber with that toe guard. Oh yeah, now we're cooking. Honestly, the laces too are always one of the toughest things to cut through. Even when we were using the air saw in Colorado at Mountain Yoda's, that's how I've cut prior shoes. That was always the biggest hurdle. Once I get through this midsole, the upper will be easier to cut. Maui. <laughs> He's sunbathing. He's over there in the sun laying down. There it is, baby. Let's go. Look at that. Not too bad, honestly. Not too bad. Check it out. So sick. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, let's go take a look at this now. Folks who have like a good tool setup and whatnot at home and a workbench, you guys are going to be laughing at me, but I literally went to Home Depot twice <laughs> yesterday to get different parts and attachments for this airsaw because I was like, I could figure this out. I could make it work. I figured I couldn't do it off of the little compressor I have. I think if I had a better car compressor or a truck compressor for that matter for tires, I could maybe make it work. But like this little Smitty built here, it just doesn't have, I think the capacity and means to do it. So all of that effort just to use the freaking handsaw I've already had. It took like five, it took less than like three minutes to cut through that shoe. And I'm glad I spent like an hour and a half yesterday on trying to go get Home Depot tools for this video, sick. Hello, my king, how are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, he wants a belly rub, okay. I give you belly rub, oh, yeah. All right, now let's go ahead and dissect and take a look at the inside of the On Cloud X4. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out the insole in both of these sides, because I wanna show you guys the internal construction of the speedboard and whatnot, but the insole is your standard foam padding here. So not crazy thick, but it does give you a bit of extra cushion and it does have a bit of arch to it as well, as you can see over here on the medial side. Now, looking at the On Cloud X4's internal construction, so you have the Cloud Tech midsole that runs throughout, and as you can see, they do have these air pockets here, and that's why I don't love this shoe for heavier lifting. You're just not gonna have as much stability with this model's midsole compared to other models that don't have these air pockets and are a bit more dense because this material is pretty easy to compress. Now, what I think is most interesting in this shoe is the speedboard tech. And so that is this TPU layer here. So I'm gonna try to pull this off so you can actually see inside of it. I know some of you are probably cringing at the shoe getting destroyed like this, but let's go ahead and look. So the speedboard tech here, 
it's this TPU layer here that runs through the midfoot and then it kind of comes out on the lateral medial side up here in the forefoot. So that also comes out here on this other side here on the lateral side. And what that's designed to do is to give you a little bit more stability and pop with this shoe. I kind of like this feature because I do feel like through the midfoot and forefoot, it does kind of help give you a little bit of additional pop. It's kind of like that lift and run chassis system in some ways in the Reebok Nano X3 and Nano X4 in the sense that it's like a TPU layer internally that is designed to give you a bit more spring and stability when you're training. But I thought it was really interesting because the speed board, I wasn't sure exactly how far it went into the forefoot and heel of the shoe. You see it in the midfoot, obviously right here with this cutout, but I never really understood like how far it went up or if it was like a plate. So it's kind of cool to see that it kind of goes in like this like V like fashion up here in the forefoot to the lateral and medial side there. Yeah, you get a good view right there of the Speedboard Tech. And looking at the material itself, it's not crazy thick, but it does have a little bit more beef here through the midfoot, which makes a lot of sense considering that's where a lot of folks are gonna want that stability with the Speedboard Tech itself. Looking at the internal construction of the shoe, you have a mesh material that runs throughout. So you have a double layer here. This layer here helps give you a little bit more security, whereas this helps promote breathability and additional security as well. You have a light internal toe guard here. So this material here has a little bit more of a rigidity to it. So as you can see, there's a tiny internal layer here that helps give you a little bit of shape and form up here on the forefoot. And then looking at the tongue, you do have a gusset in this. So you do have this stretchy band here. This helps keep that tongue in place and helps give you additional security through the midfoot. And then looking at the boot of this model, you do have a low cup in this shoe. So as you can see, this material folds in, but you do have a low cup here and that's right about where this TPU layer is. And one of the features that is different with this model compared to the OnCloud X3, because I've had that question a few times, is this padded heel back here. So I kind of tried to cut it so you can see this and I wouldn't have to cut straight through this, but it has a bit of beef here to give you additional comfort and security. So as opposed to the past model, this cup up here does kind of give you a little bit of extra cushion, which I personally like with that low cup. I feel like it has a nice blend to it now. The tongue itself also has a bit more padding in this model compared to the prior X3. But overall, I think that's kind of the nuts and bolts of this shoe's construction regarding the internal features of this model. All right, guys, that's of this video cutting open the On Cloud X4. I'm always intrigued by On shoes because they're super popular and with their midsole constructions, I'm always kind of wondering what does it actually look like on the inside? But if you have additional questions on this shoe, I do have a full review already filmed for this model. I'm gonna link that up there and it's gonna be linked down below below, but if you want to see me cut open a different shoe and just see what's inside of different models, let me know in the comments below what shoe you want to see me cut open next. I plan to do this a lot more with shoes for review purposes to make sure we're not all getting skimped out of materials like the Mikey Metcon 9's TPU plate. I have filmed that video that is up there. I don't love the internal construction of that model, but all that's to say, if you have additional questions on this video, drop a comment down below or reach out to me personally, whichever you prefer. And as always, y'all, drop a like on the video, drop subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.